Here is a quick overview of the concept art creation course with Unreal Engine 4. You don't need to know how to draw, model or even know Unreal Engine 4, I'll teach you everything quickly and easily. Why should you use Unreal Engine 4 to do concept art? Because you can set up everything in real time, and particularly because, once you have your scene done, you can take screenshots of several different views, thus saving time. Therefore, you have access to these three types of rendering, but you can mix the effects to create your own. The first time you open the project, you come across this map. This is the tank I modeled with two simple shapes. Here they are. The first is a cube and the second is a cylinder. I will show you in a moment how to model this type of element. There are really only two things to know, which are quite simple, but allow you to go fast. This type of modeling with basic shapes works very well with weapons like assault guns and is also great for tanks or spaceships of all kinds. This is the tank I used on the renderings that we'll see later. Now I'll show you the first rendering, the sketch style. Here is the sketch rendering, once you have modeled your shape on Unreal Engine 4 or other 3D modeling program. You import the object in this level and you will quickly obtain this type of rendering. You can change several things, including the color of the lines. Currently there are one black line and one gray line, and you can display only one of the two. Look. I'll only display the gray one, and here I'll display the black one only. I can also change the color of the line or its thickness, I'll show you quickly. There, I changed the thickness of the line. And I'll also change the color of the black line. I don't know, I'll use some pink. And it gives a colored pencil effect. Sketch rendering also allows you to quickly create an environment concept. You place your objects in the scene and you create your scenery directly with a sketch effect. There you go. And now I'll show you the felted rendering. Here is the felt rendering. We can change a lot of things, like the colors. I will quickly change the colors. Depending on the active camera, I will show more or less of the effects. This one has too many white lines, so I won't show them all. In the end, you can set up the elements as you wish. Now I will show you the paint rendering. Here is the paint effect. You have modeled an object on Unreal Engine 4 or another program and you imported it in this scene to get this result. Of course, we can set up several things. The foreground, at the level of the leaves and the trees, on the sides. The second plane, which is the robot on the left, and the third plane which is the robot on the right. So we can set the painting effects. We are going to set the foreground effect where there is a nice oil effect. I'll reduce it to zero at once. That's it, the effect is no longer there. Now I'm going to change it again to put it back and produce the previous oil effect. Now I'm going to change the second plane. The second plane effect for the robot is here. Look, I will increase the paint effect. Or I will reduce it to zero. Now there are almost no more paint effects. And of course, I can change the paint effect in the third plan, to make it sharper or stronger. I could also possibly take the object and move it. I duplicate it, obviously, and move it around the scene as I want. And I can also move around the scene as I want. The paint rendering also allows you something else. You work on a 2D concept on Photoshop or another 2D software. You want to find the right colors and lighting for your 2D drawing. You quickly place simple shapes in the level that matches your 2D drawing. You test your colors, the location of your lights and their color and temperature. Then you take a screenshot and finish your work in Photoshop or other 2D software. I have just shown you the three possible effects. Now we will look at each effect in detail. 